set in World War II um, on the eve of D-Day um, in the Channel Islands, uh, which is uh, British, the only British occupied um, land in uh, World War II. And two commandos are sent to try and blow up um, a gun installation to try and distract the Germans away from the Normandy D-Day landings. And they arrive at the island and they start hearing lots of weird noises, screaming, gunfire, and eventually um, go inside this German bunker and find that all the Germans are dead, apart from one surviving German who appears to be mad um, and is saying that all the Germans were killed by a demon. It came about when I went to uh, Guernsey in the Channel Islands and I showed one of my short films, The Old Girl, and the local press there did uh, an interview with me and they asked me if I knew anything about the Channel Islands history of witchcraft, which I didn't. Um, but being a horror film director, I did a bit of research, found out that um, the Channel Islands used to be a hotbed of witchcraft in the Middle Ages. More witches were um, uh, burnt at the stake there than anywhere else in England in one period. And um, they also had these books called the Bad Books, which were um, books of folklore and black magic. And I basically took the idea of these, the, the history of witchcraft and the bad books and combined it with um, Hitler's obsession with the occult and kind of wove it into a World War II story. We did a lot of research, um, so there's a lot of historical facts in the film. Um, it's set in the Channel Islands, which was the only part of um, British territory that was occupied by the Germans in World War II. Um, the fortification that's in the film is based on a real fortification in the Channel Islands. The books of black magic actually exist. Um, I went to Guernsey and found in a vault in a library five copies dating back to, um, uh, I think, 1700, um, with instructions on summoning Beelzebub and Lucifer. Um, so those are real. Um, the commando raids were real as well. Um, the, the, the British commandos were, were raiding the Channel Islands in World War II. Um, and they were also doing these distraction raids around about the Normandy landings to try and keep the Germans' attention away from um, uh, Normandy. So it's all kind of based on a certain amount of fact. The mixture of, 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 of war and horror is quite, quite potent um, because on the one hand, um, you've, you've got these um, awful situations of people going, into, um, going to war and, and doing terrible things. But then when you throw in something like the, the occult um, or any kind of horror, um, fantasy situation, then potentially y y you've got um, something worse than than war. Um, you know, it's, it's killing people is bad enough, but then there's something more evil out there. And especially with um, dealing with Nazis as well. You know, I mean, most hated kind of race on earth, most despised. And then you say, right, well, then they're not really that bad compared to what's over here and um, what we can summon up from hell. Um, so it's a, it's a very interesting combination. There's something fascinating about the occult. It's um, this idea that maybe there is, that, that hell really is real and that you, you, you can have the, the power to summon up um, a demon. Uh, I mean, the, 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 the occult, it's all about power um, and it, it's kind of everything that's, that's opposite to Christianity. It's about power and success and, and, and greed. Um, and for a filmmaker, it's a very interesting area to, to work in because there's, you can go anywhere and do anything. Um, and especially with something from hell, the, 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 the sky's the limit to, to what, what you can do with it, really.